Hello guys from Open Gate. Everything's fine with you, with us. Everything is okay. Guys, well, Renat was called to come and take a look at this animal. The animal was filling its hoof a lot at first. We thought it was just hoofing something typical, but when we went to check in the depth, the animal needs help here. It has a serious case. We'll be passing it on to you. The animal really needs Renato's help here. So let's do this treatment here that we will be passing it on to you. Let's go. Renato is lifting it here. The hoof is quite complicated, right, Renato? The frog issue in this case, right? The hoof itself is healthy, normal. But for some reason, this frog had a frog change, something, you know, maybe a cut for frog rot, and with that comes the larvae, right? Let's talk like this about these bugs, right? The larvae. And here in this situation, shows the three phases here, right? Showing here. You have the larval eggs, the larvas, and there is already one there here. Soon a fly is already flying out of here, already big, you know, flying, flying away. There are so many larvae that are here, right in this situation, exactly a fly will fly out. Guys, it's a serious complicated case, okay? Renato is going to have to do some cleaning. We're going to have to get all these bugs out to do a good cleaning, make a bandage. In that case, you know, Renato will also be bandaging it. Yeah, and let's do it. We use it a lot, like that the famous one. I don't remember the name, but it's good to kill these bugs, right? It's one of those stronger products, and in this case, I agree. It's not suitable for horses. A lot of people will say, but such product cannot be good. Okay, sometimes it's not good, but using it once or twice, there will be no problems. An important thing is to do this cleaning like this very firmly in this cleaning here with this larvae, you know, right? This product will kill these bugs, right? And killing the bugs, let's make a bandage, leave this hoof closet. So after this dressing, we will start cleaning the frog and peeling it. So let's make it clear uh, that we are putting for this product because it is an extreme case, okay? It's extreme, right? It's not a horse product. People use it on horses, but if you, if you will go and see there, it's not for these animals. And in extreme case like this, there is no point in running away. We need to do this. This is better to do this. And we're not talking about the product, you know. It's gonna kill the bugs, right? And it's going to be really good. It's going to get really deep. And let's do this, guys. Let's put all these larvae that are inside. And we're gonna make all this clean here this time. And we're gonna make a very good clean here, guys. We need to do this. Sometimes that can be a kick because, guys, the animal will start to feel it and take care. Always there are the danger of a kickback. So you have, we always recommend here in the channel, guys, you know, make it very clear, you know, always call a professional, someone who knows how to do with the animal to be carrying out this type of procedure, not just anyone will know how to deal with the situation and it is dangerous. The animal can give a kick. I think the chance of an accident is greater, right? It's big, right? Sometimes you try to help and ended up hurting yourself. Or, well, I'm going to release a little bit here so she can step on the sand there to hurt the animal, maybe hurting whoever is handling it. So, in this case, a professional, a trimmer, someone who understands how to do with the animal is a good idea. But come on, guys, we're going to be helping this girl out of here. There are a lot of tenants there on her foot and this happens with any injury. It has been left for a while, this will happen. So we will still manage to get it there and I believe that, you know. Okay, okay there's a lot, right Renato? Yeah, they start falling to the ground, it's a lot guys, a lot. So the case here isn't simple, it's a more complex case and the frog is a softer part of the case you know, of this hoof, let's say, guys, the first step is to do all the removal of the tenants, you know, remove everything, and there's plenty. Can I wash it?
Look guys, Renato did the cleaning, he had to remove all the bugs, all the bugs that were there, or at least all the ones that we could identify, which many they get in there and can't get out. But they die, right? Yes, the product kills them. The product really kills them, but even so, tomorrow I was going to come back here to check it out. Otherwise, we will apply the bandage and leave it closed for about 4-5 or five days and the bug is alive and, you know, it's where the animal proliferates and the situation will end up being worse because they are closer to there. The animal suffers a lot. That's it, guys. We washed, we took out as much as we could from there. We looked and we had access. We gave the medication now. We, we put the bandage there. We're going to close the bandage. This is an animal that will need to be inspected daily, you know, daily there, or at least every two days, dressing it, closing it. No, the frog, no, the truth, it actually, it is a part of the hoof that is meant to absorb the impact of the horse, to really receive pressure. So the more it steps on the ground, theoretically, the better, but it is damaged. So here it is in the sensitive area. I'm going to reread it here and you will see that it's really, the animal is very sensitive, painful, so it's because of the animals there. So here in this part of the boob, here on the top of the frog, the sensitive part, the soft part of the hoof. So you have to give it to her a little care, you know, to help the animal not suffering so much. This one won't happen overnight, Brad Renato. In this case, this one is a longer treatment. Well, maybe yes, maybe that the part about the animals, well, it is because it will be resolved tomorrow or the day after. Then we will clean that hoof, treat the frog. If we don't treat the frog there, leave that frog healthy. The chance of the flies, you know, settling here again on account of the smell and it comes from the larva again, the chance is much greater. So we have to take care of this hoof here. Do the, sh you know, do the closing and taking care of the frog. You know, I guarantee you that in two days everything will be resolved. Now clean up the animals and just pay more attention to, you know, with this part to not cut up this again. And avoid getting it again, we have to do it here, you know, leave the frog healthy without a hole there, without cutting, maybe the place where the animal stays true if it's a stall. You have to be careful there with the part about not being dumb. Look guys. The dressing was done today, today's treatment is done, you know, from here I believe that in two days perhaps, yeah, we were gonna remove the dressing, see how it is, apply a new dressing, look, the animal is beautiful, the animal, okay, just needs a little care on that part of the hoof, so we were surprised, we thought it was a, you know, a more common case but is a case that is a little serious but it's not that difficult to solve it just needs a little more of attention to the animal so guys that's it guys another video shown for you if you are not subscribed to our channel sign up follow along leave a like we also have our facebook page check it out guys i hope you enjoyed this video until next time god willing our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.